Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another video on Stratonite's YouTube channel. When I first started web development, I had no idea about what HTML, CSS and PHP were and for the matter of fact how even a website worked. I was just motivated by the movie Social Network and wanted to create a social network of my own. With that in my mind, I started learning HTML, then CSS, then PHP. I learned how to set up a local XAMPP server on my computer, which is used for PHP development. And then I was somehow able to put together a small website. Well, this was the easier part for me, getting my head around how a website hosting works and how a user is able to open up a website while sitting anywhere in the world haunted me for a long time. Well, this was a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure that many users and many beginner web developers face the same problem even today. So in this video, we will try to understand how a website works or how a website hosting works. To understand how a website works, we need to understand three things. First one, what is a website? Second one, what is a web server? And the third one, which is how a web browser communicates with the web server to show you the website. Let's start with the first one. A website is nothing but a bunch of files written in a special language known as HTML, which is the language of all the browsers. All the browsers love HTML. They can translate HTML files into beautiful web pages that we see. Apart from HTML files, we also have CSS files, images, videos, but all these are included in the HTML files itself. So a website is nothing but a group of files stored together in a folder, just like it is done in your personal computers or your laptops. Next comes what is a web server. A server is nothing but a super powerful computer. Yes, just like your personal computer, but without a monitor or a keyboard or a mouse because they don't need them. It is just a strong processor connected to a high speed internet connection, which stores all your website files and provides it over the internet whenever a web browser asks for it using the URL of your website. A web server also has a special software running on it which is known as the HTTP server, which is able to understand HTTP requests that a browser sends to it and respond to it by sending the HTML files of your website to the browser. Now comes the third and the most important part, which is how the web browser communicates with the web server to show you a website. So let's start by understanding the background of this process. IP address is used to identify any machine or a computer connected to a network. Now, as we know, internet is also nothing but a vast network. Hence, every computer, server, mobile devices connected to the internet have an IP address. While generally IP addresses are dynamic, that is, they keep on changing for a normal internet connection that we have at our home. But for a web server, the IP address is static. It will always remain the same. And hence, we can easily locate the web server on the internet using its IP address. Now, if we can locate the web server, we can easily access the files stored in it as well. And our website is also stored on the web server. But you would say that we do not use the IP address to visit a website. We use a domain name, more like studytonight.com. To answer this, we need to understand a new concept, which is DNS server. DNS servers are like telephone directories. They store website name and the IP address of the server on which the website is hosted. So whenever you request a website from your browser, first the request goes to a DNS server. The IP address of the web server of the website that you want to visit is found and the request is then forwarded to that IP address. Now that we know how a request reached the server, it's time to understand more about the request itself. 
So a web server and a web browser communicates via HTTP protocol. HTTP protocol is nothing but a set of rules defined for sending and receiving web pages which is nothing but HTML documents over the internet. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Hypertext is nothing but structured text and HTML is Hypertext Markup Language which means it's a markup language used to create the hypertext documents which are nothing but the web pages. Earlier where information was exchanged in plain text form using text documents etc web pages came as a new way of presenting information in a more structured way with headings images using different colors and fonts all this available for everyone on the internet what better could you have asked for so coming back to the topic of discussion when you want to visit a website you enter the name of the website in your browser the browser creates an http request with the url that you want to visit and sends it over the internet to the DNS server. DNS server finds the IP address of the web server on which the website files are stored. The HTTP request is then sent to the web server where the web server looks for the required HTML file and sends it back to the web browser in form of HTTP response. And the website opens up in your browser. See, it was not that difficult, but yes, this is what conceptually happens behind the scene when you ask for a website using your web browser. Now web server stores all the files related to a website in its hard disk just like we do in our computer where we can easily access any folder by navigating to the folder, opening the folder and seeing the file. In a web server all this happens using the directory structure. So when you provide a URL for a website, the URL is nothing but the path where the file is located on the web server and that file is an HTML document. So the web server will locate that file and send it back in form of an HTTP response. So this was all about how a website works. Hope you liked the video and I hope that now you have a better picture of how a website actually works or how a website is hosted. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.